I grew up here in British Columbia, surrounded by fast cars and endless stretches of road. The problem is, unless you want to be locked in a cage, there's nowhere to go if your goal is to become a better driver. Let me clarify, a faster, more confident, and more precise driver. You know who you are. Since 2014, my team and I have been paying very close attention to this piece of land here, home to Area 27. A racetrack and driver's club in Oliver, BC. Our adventures over the years making the three hour drive from Vancouver have always been a highlight reel, keeping a quick pace and taking in the views early in the morning. The drive to Area 27 from any direction is draped with world class driving roads. Driving just happens to be my vice, so of course this is where I end up, chasing speed and adrenaline. My name is Marcus, I drive a 25 year old Toyota, and this is my experience in Academy 27. That's Alex, a good friend of mine and a very competent driver. Not all of my friends are actually into cars like I am, but the ones who are actually care about improving, learning, and pushing their skills. That being said, the skill level and experience in this room on the first night here was all over the place. I like to think I was somewhere in the middle. That's Case, our lead instructor for the course, the only Canadian to have his name on a Porsche factory race car, winning the 1983 12 Hours of Sebring in a Porsche 934. You guys gotta hear this thing start up. Don't hit the pedestrians. Dude, you won't have to worry about pedestrians tomorrow. No, that's great. Won't have to worry about pedestrians. Uh, radar detector won't matter because no cops. Just um, braking zones, turning zones, and cones. There will be cones. There will be cones you gotta pay attention to. It is the night before we hit area 27. We're gassing up, obviously high octane. Uh, it's gonna be great, okay? We're here for two and a half days. All we gotta do is not overheat and then it will be a successful day. So I brought this old thing, but if you aren't feeling risky enough to gamble on your reliability, the school does actually offer a bunch of rental Camaros. I know my car best though, so it was time to cover my bases. I've got fresh brake pads, fluid, rotors, and tires, but you should probably try and do this all before you get here. Not the night before. <laughs> this is it, day one. And trust me, it was difficult to concentrate at first walking through the paddock, just littered with childhood dream cars. But there's a middle ground here between work and play I found I had to respect in order to keep focused. So my name is Case Nirok. I'm the chief instructor here at Area 27. I won the Sebring 12 hour and of course one of my main things being that I actually drove for the Porsche factory uh, and introduced the 961 at uh, the 24 hours of Le Mans in France. Uh, my role as the chief instructor is to make sure that everybody stays safe to start with and of course uh, from there, we try and, and really introduce people to the art of high-performance driving. Uh, Era 27 is a fantastic track to actually be able to uh, learn all the basics, get, get down to all the basics, and then be able to, within a two-day period, really kind of step it up and get some uh, quite serious driving done uh, with some very challenging corners. So uh, it's, a, it's a very good progression for two days that, that I think people very much appreciate.
We start out with doing some exercises uh, where we, you know, we kind of get people used to how well the brakes work and when to actually apply the brakes and how to uh, modulate the brake pedal. Uh, perhaps uh, we work on some downshifting if you drive a manual shifted uh, car. Uh, and then we get into some cornering techniques as well. We start putting it together. Uh, we come back into the pits as well and we kind of discuss the matter. Um, I have a, a team of very good instructors that are all um, very current race car drivers. They're the, the, the guys that are currently, you know, you're watching on TV doing the GT3 Cup Series, the Porsche Canada Series, for example, or the Pirelli World Challenge. So uh, they are in current cars going at current speeds and they are leading championships or champ ex-championship winners. So uh, we have a very strong team of drivers. All right, you guys, so as you can see, there are a endless uh, amount of different cars here, huge variety. We've got a 991 GT3 RS here, uh, a bunch of fifth gen Camaros, which are great cars to learn on. Most of them are manual. Uh, we've got a 458 over here, 458 Spider coming from Alberta. Basically, the school is open to all skill levels, whether you're, you've never done anything like this before, you've never been on track, or you've done a few track days and just want to brush up your skills, this is where you come, okay? Massive open track. Um, obviously, we've got the M3, we've got a BRZ, we've got my MR2, Corvette C6 ZR1. All of these cars have their strengths and their weaknesses, and they're all uh, gonna help you learn on the track today. Uh, and of course, the Academy 27 cars behind me. We've got the 718 Cayman S with the PDK, and then they've got a Golf R manual. So uh, as you can see, huge variety and uh, big, big separation of skill level here today. Release the brakes, get nice and tight to the apex, back to power, back to power, and then hard on the brakes. It's down. all about smoothness and, and of course your eyes up. It's all about vision, being able to plan your route. So once people get used to that a little bit, then we get into a, a situation where we do a, a, what's called a lead follow. Uh, an elite follow is very much like a train where we have the uh, instructor drive in front and we have some uh, of the students behind it uh, to a maximum of five cars. And so now the instructor shows the exact line and by doing that several laps people uh, tend to get used to what it starts feeling like as we start increasing the speed. So uh, we're basically building a, a comfort level and, and um, we kind of keep stepping up the speed a little bit. Then in the afternoon uh, we actually allow people to go out on their own uh, and kind of set the speed and get used to it. And we use the, the short track on day one uh, and then on day two we come out and we'll go around and we actually walk the track because now people are kind of getting used a little bit to the car. So now we, we make sure that they actually understand the dynamics of each corner perhaps at the track as well. How banking of, a, of a, the track could help you or how elevation changes uh, kind of changes how the car reacts as well. So when you actually walk the track, you see that much more uh, obvious than when you're driving at high speed. Um, so then we, we start introducing the longer track, which at Area 27 is uh, 4.9 kilometers long. And we have 16 corners uh, with, you know, probably about five or six that are pretty much blind and very challenging corners. So. Uh, again, it's another step up and we, uh, instead of overloading the people, they, they uh, learned half the track on day one and we kind of introduced the second half on day two. All right, you guys, what is going on? We are here at Area 27 after years of waiting. Let's do a couple laps.
991 GT3 RS just ahead of us. I can guarantee you that uh, almost everybody uh, has absolutely almost doubled their speed for sure and at least you know tenfold of their comfort in driving the car. So they've become a safer driver on the street because they're much more relaxed, they are much more, they get their vision up and so it basically makes a safer driver out on the street, not just out on the racetrack. Although the Area 27 is a membership only uh, track, um, and I can call it a racetrack, but it's a, it's a track, we also use the, the facility to promote the safe driving for anybody from the outside. If you want to join up in, and um, join the Academy 27, you can do so. Uh, you do not have to be a member at all. So um, it's really aimed at everybody, every driver that's out there thinking uh, that they can um, uh, you know, getting some advice to become a safer and more uh, comfortable driver. Um, come on down and, and we can show you how to do that. Also, one of the good things that I believe uh, we can do at Academy 27 is younger drivers even, if, if you're just starting out driving, maybe come down here and we can show you the dynamics of the car and you will then become um, much more familiar with what you're playing with out on the street. You have a, a, a 2,500, 3,500, 4,500 pound car. So um, there's a lot of weight that you have to deal with and learn to, to control. The only preparation that I, I would very much suggest if you take um, your everyday street car uh, and we use that, of course, here at Racetrack. Do know that we will be using all of its performance, whatever we can get out of it. So that means you want to make sure that you have very good tires on the car before you come up here. Uh, you make sure you have very good brake pads uh, and you have some fresh brake fluid. We actually offer a more advanced day as well. So it's an advanced driving day, which is a one day course that, that steps it up a little bit. And we also offer an actual uh, racing preparation uh, school day, so where we kind of get into passing, going into corners, uh, we get into starting a race and, and doing all of that stuff. So uh, we've got everything available to us here at Area 27 and Academy 27, uh, from the beginning driver all the way up to the uh, potential uh, race car driver. If you want to become a race car driver, come on down for sure. I think uh, when we look at Area 27, uh, we all got to be extremely proud and very thankful uh, to Bill Drosses, I, I believe, because he, he really had a dream of creating this and he's actually the guy that made it happen. He put the right team together and made this all happen right here in the heart of the Okanagan, in the heart of wine country. So uh, Area 27 is not just a racetrack for racers, it's actually a motorsport facility uh, that is part of the entire Okanagan. We have the, the wine tours, we have the motorsport, we have the beautiful tourism in this entire area. Look at, look at the landscape around us, just standing at the middle of the track, looking at the mountains, and of course the beautiful weather. You know, we have the lakes, it's all part of the uh, southern BC, the Okanagan Valley. It's part of the entire southern BC economy, for sure. amazing time. So thank you Area 27 so much. Thank you Michaela. Thank you Academy 27. Um, 
uh, and uh, all the instructors here, Case and all the other guys here, it's been a great time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, series of videos on Academy 27. <laughs> what a great day. You guys should totally come up here, it's awesome. So we're gonna go head back down uh, to the lake, jump in the lake, you know, enjoy the rest of the day, and uh, drive back to Vancouver. All right, you guys, so we just finished Academy 27 here at Area 27. If you guys have been watching the channel for a while, we have been covering the track for the last four years. Uh, and it, all, it has all come down to this. Uh, we've waited four years to drive on the track and we finally got an opportunity to do it. It was a great time. So now we have completed this. It is uh, ASN Canada FIA approved. Um, so now we can apply for novice license um, and basically further our adventure in the motorsport landscape and see what we can do in the future. Um, as you can see, my car was spitting big flames because it got extremely hot and there's a bunch of soot uh, and <laughs> got a little burnt so the car survived and that's all that really matters but I would highly recommend Academy 27 I probably learned more in these last 2.5 days than I have in the first 25 years of my life um, and that's saying something you know you can only learn so much on the road so definitely come down here at area 27 even just to check it out Suffocating